started tutorial video i'll be talking about how to create pop-up or dialogues on pressing a button so this is my button when i'm clicking there is a pop-up and there is also a text field and there is also some real-time action is performing on this dialogue right now it is empty and if we play press uh, save button then there is real-time action happening here we need to enter some data here if we press zero then again this message is coming now if we put some message inside this text field other than zero or empty and if we press on save data the same data is navigating to our next screen so these are the things which we will discuss in this video and before that i just want to request you please subscribe to my channel and like the video and let's get started without any delay basically this is my home screen and first of all i have taken an empty string for showing that error message and this is test editing controller for text field for getting the values whatever i am uh, writing inside the text field so let's come up with this build method inside this there is basic coding scaffold and centered for centering this button and this is the text that is that is showing on this elevated button and on press there is dialog pop-up method which is taking string value for showing title okay so inside this dialog pop-up there is show dialog because whenever i am entering wrong data here like if there is no data it is showing error like real time error if you will not use show dialog then it will not show this error it will not refresh then you will go back and when you come again then this message will be shown to you so that is why i have used here show dialog okay, inside it basically takes context and builder and i have taken here stateful builder and this again it is taking the same context and set state for dialog it basically act as set state like set state uh, the work of the set state is for build method and set state for dialog is used to update the dialog show dialog method again it is used to run this uh, set builder okay so inside this there is alert dialog okay so this is uh, basically the dialog and i have given the corner radius shape you can manage it from here there is the title that i am using it is a content padding whatever the padding uh, whatever the content inside this dialog it will give padding accordingly and inside this i have used column and this is the text field that i have used uh, it is basically a number uh, text field so i have taken these kind of things and if you want a user to press only numbers not like special characters dot and commas then you can use this okay you can use this and also if you don't want user to paste anything inside your text field you can use this line and this is the text decoration basically input decoration this is outline when your text field is enable condition like this it is in black color okay whenever and the border is one when i am clicking on this text field then focus border is coming into existence like this border is of two and the color is gray so these are the functionalities of text field i am going to shrink it now and for this error message initially the error message is empty so it is false okay so this is happening like uh, i am providing the height of uh, 10 pixels from in between text field and this message this is my message 
and there will be the main function like this this is my elevated button and when i'm pressing this set state for dialog is coming into existence as i told you earlier that set state is used for builder and build method and this set state for dialog is used to reload this uh, alert dialog so i'm using it and if text field controller text if text field is empty then it is showing this message and if i am putting zero then it is showing this message like this i'm putting zero you cannot use zero so this message is coming from this and if the there is uh, no any exceptions like uh, if it is not zero and if it is not empty then it is coming inside this else part so this is the else part and again my error message will be again error message is empty and as well my screen is navigating to save data screen so basically what is save data screen this is this particular screen like if i am putting some value here like 56 then it is navigating as well as data is moving from one screen to another so this screen is this and there is one value created here dialog data and there is one parameter which is which uh, this uh, save data screen will take okay so i will also tell you how is this possible so whenever i am calling this screen there is one there is basically one space for taking the data so this is the text field controller dot text okay so how to use this particular data in this particular screen so i have navigated from home screen to save data screen and my data is inside this and now how will I, we use it like this widget dot dialog data so whatever the data inside this dialog it will show here and these are the styles that i have used for this text font size is 200 so let's come to the home screen once again so in, uh, inside this column this is my cancel button so this is basically a text button and it is showing some text like cancel like this and when i am clicking this and there is no data then it is showing please enter valid number okay and when i am clicking on this particular button this message is appearing so this shouldn't be appear here like okay so what to do inside this dialog pop-up when every time when i am clicking on this dialog pop-up error message should go so whenever i am clicking on this i am i am making this empty so let's run this once again control save and now when i am coming to this there is no message and when i am not putting anything inside there is the error and also there is some limitation you cannot write more than two value inside this text field so this is happening from this like max length inside text field there is max length so this is the thing you can use uh, icon or anything else instead of this text field and basically i just want to tell you that you can uh, reload your dialog without uh, going back with the help of uh, this stateful builder so this was actually the challenge that i was facing so that's it for now and hope you all like this video please subscribe to my channel and like the video bye for now